lovers. I am going to a type of sale that I've never been to before. These are like storage units that are being liquidated or storage containers, I think it is. Um, I am down a very narrow <laughs> road here in East Texas. I am in Fruitvale and I am in 1,000 feet, your destination will be on the right. Obviously, it's about to be here on the right. I've never done anything like this before. I saw pictures on Facebook, and there were just containers and boxes laid out. Um, but I saw a picture that said vases. So I have no idea what I'm getting into. It could be all modern. I don't know. I see a vulture. There goes a big vulture. Hopefully you see it. Your destination Whoa. is on the right. Um, but yeah, here I go. I have no idea what to think about this. And it, apparently it is the second day, so it's 25% off. Amplify auctions. Here we go. Oh, I see it. So yeah, look, there's just these empty storage containers with boxes. Ooh. This is so dangerous, I know. But I wanted to take you guys with me. Okay guys, so I, I got Rick and we came back. When I tell you, there's a lot here, there's a lot here. I was here for two and a half hours earlier and I've come back because they keep bringing more out. Right now we're kind of in the electronic section, which I didn't even look at before. But it goes on and on and on and on. Wanna get that? <laughs> I got that on video. Okay guys, Rick thinks this is probably from the 40s. Maybe 50s. Maybe 50s. I think it looks more 50s. Um, this is a reel to reel. Could you use that, Rick? It's pretty cool. Uh, I, I wouldn't know the first thing about what reels to use on it. Or... Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I mean, it. of course it's so hot here today, but it goes... Hey guys, look at this old radio. I'm kind of interested in this, but Rick had a point. There's no speaker. Let me check this out. Oh, my phone is not focusing. Oh, I don't know what's happening, guys. I'm so sorry. There we go. Electronic thermometer. Cool, huh? Just to give you an idea of how random some of this is, like there's these boxes of next generation um, VHS. I, I don't know. The reseller me wants to look it up. Wow. A diamond is forever. This is awesome. Rogers. Oh, I don't think I need those on CD though. Yeah, I mean tape. Nines, so these are some of the treasures I picked up. I didn't realize this one was chipped, but this is an Italian base. I'm not going to get This is very soft leather. This is beautiful. This is um, Italian. And this is Nippon. It just needs to be cleaned. So I'm excited about these. I haven't even made it over to the main part yet. So we're trying to figure out what this is. I feel like Sabrina knows. Speedy printer. What? Do not leave lights. Really cool. Look at the font on it. Yeah, that's... Look at this old urn or planter. Sewing machine. I can't imagine how heavy that is. I was like, oh, this would be cool. How that? Heavy? Yeah. Oh, it's light. Oh. It's not cast iron. Oh, I thought it was. Guys, so this is just an example, like just glasses and dinner wear, dishware. I didn't, I didn't even make it this far the first time, so I'm not sure what's in here. This looks like Lennox. It is Lennox. Um, I don't, I don't buy Lennox to sell. China. There's a big piece of Lennox right there. Um, I'm going to leave this right here. They don't mind where I put it. Um, I had, look, nobody's even looked at these. Are these just glass bases? Uh, glass dishes? Looks like it. Cover anyone? So, I was just digging and I found this. Gorgeous avocado. Um, 
Jamestown uh, little pitcher. And I just, I'm not selling it like I used to. Um, I love the avocado green and I love that the paperwork is in here. They probably blew this glass on site, you know, and sold it, souvenirs. And I picked up these two uh, pottery pitchers and I'm not sure about them. I think they're cool, but uh, yeah. It's, it's gonna be hard for me to continue filming. It is so hot, the sun's just beaming down. Um, but every box I open, I end up finding something else. So I just found her. Um, I think her colors are great for Halloween. I'm gonna look her up. I don't know who makes her. There's no marking. And then I saw this jewelry box too. Oh, I found more pottery. I think I'm gonna get those. Okay, more in a bit. Okay, it says video quality is reduced because of the heat. And again, any of you new to my channel, I, I know I need to get a GoPro. But I just wanted to stop what I was doing. It, this is the craziest sale I've ever been to. Um, these are more things that I pulled. This basket, I thought that was cool. Um, this planter, this drip is amazing. Upco. My phone's dying. Um, this metal hand painted tin is really cool. And then this wicker box, which this is a huge deal. It's not like it's rare, but I love these. So I have to get that as well. I love selling them. Or if I can. Hey guys, I'm leaving the sale. Another two hours spent here. Um, I think I picked all I can pick. They're gonna have 50% off tomorrow and 75 off Sunday. But it's, I think I got everything uh, that I can resell. There's a couple things I'm keeping, but um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this little shop along. I tried my best. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that glimpse into the best sourcing I've ever had. I had so much fun digging through all of the bins, all of the boxes, and you guys know I went there several times. I had so much fun. I got so many treasures for you guys. I have pulled a few to go ahead and do a quick little haul. A lot of these items were shown during my live sale this morning. So if you're at my live sale, I apologize for the repetition. There are a few things you didn't see, however. But yeah, like I said, so many treasures that had been locked away for years. And I, I did so good, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and start over here. This is a beautiful piece of mid-century Japanese pottery. I absolutely love this vase. I love the colors. I love the glaze. I love this floral form on it. It is just absolutely beautiful. Perfect for fall. Here is a signature here. So it is signed into the bottom of the vase right there absolutely amazing now this one did sell this was in my saturday sale this is a beautiful gorgeous piece of signed pottery this vase back here it is beautiful this very large picture it's phenomenal so again that one sold so this one is not available these two candle holders are rosenthal crystal they are beautiful. They did glow a little bit under the black light. Let me see if I can grab my black light and show you guys again. Oh, how tricky ring lights are. Now I'm not seeing a glow at all. I did this morning when I was looking at these, but there's definitely not a glow now. It must have been some sort of trickery from the lighting of my ring light this morning. I apologize. I'm glad nobody purchased them thinking they were going to glow though, but they are beautiful. These are so great for Christmas and New Year's. Oops, as you can see, they're two different sizes and I love them. Behind them is one of the prettiest decanters I have come across in a while. This is actually Jim Beam, which really surprised me. It is from 1957. You can see the year there on the bottom. This beautiful opalescent dish or decanter is absolutely gorgeous. It's obviously made to look uh, maybe Victorian there. It is beautiful and it really did surprise me. 
Then back here is a beautiful pottery goblet. I love this blue glaze here. This is gorgeous. I'll show it to you a little bit closer. It is signed here on the bottom. It looks like I M or E M. Beautiful. Here is the base. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this. So great if you love pottery like I do. This is, I love arranging pottery of different colors and different sizes together. I just think it makes it even more beautiful. This is stoneware pottery and this is so pretty. This one is from 1982. It is marked there on the bottom as well as signed by the artist. I love this. It is gorgeous. Then this is Upco, this mid-century planter. It is this gorgeous lime green color with this beautiful drip glaze as well. It is beautiful. I don't see any damage on that. This is the antique Nippon dish. This is so pretty. When you look at it up close, you can see all of the gorgeous hand-painted details on it. This one is not marked on the back, but it is Nippon. I did look it up just to verify it before I had my sale this morning. Then this is the cranberry glass vase that I showed this morning as well. This piece is beautiful. This beautiful case glass. Here is the bottom. It is not signed, which is very surprising. This is a beautiful, beautiful piece of glass. I love this. It is so pretty in person. Then this is Italian pottery. It's more modern, but it is absolutely beautiful with this heart dish, this beautiful blue bird, and it is marked made in Italy here on the back. Just beautiful, I love it. Okay, then I got this hair receiver. This is beautiful as well. This is also Nippon. I love these daisies, all of these beautiful, hand paint the details on it. Gorgeous. There is no damage on this. Here is the inside. So if you don't know what a hair receiver is, um, when you're brushing your hair and taking care of your hair, you just put your hair in there when it, when it comes out when you're taking care of it. Hair was very important, obviously during Victorian times and even later, but this is just beautiful. Hand painted porcelain, I love it. I've got something, well, two things that I'm keeping that I'm showing in this haul. I know, I know. Just wait, I will start selling more of my collection, I promise. I have been doing it slowly but surely. Um, this is a gorgeous Bakelite bangle. I freaking love this. It is fantastic. I just noticed that mark there. I'll see if I can get that mark out. Um, it doesn't affect anything in this bracelet. It is amazing. Then this is a little Bakelite pendant. It has a rhinestone there in the center. And I paired it on this just silver tone chain. It's really cool. I love it. Then here I got two vintage brooches. One is this beautiful leopard or cheetah. I love it. I guess it's probably a cheetah. Then this bow brooch, which is absolutely amazing. Here is the back of it. Kind of reminds me of the brand 1928, but I, I don't think it is. Um, but it is beautiful regardless. Then I got two stick pins. Um, the first one is this beautiful Murano glass one. Well, let me see if I can get it to sit down. There we go. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Millefiori, just beautiful. Then it has the red crystal there. It is so pretty. Then this one is an amber glass stick pin, beautiful. This one does not have um, the little stopper there at the bottom, but hey, it's amber and it's beautiful. Okay, I think I've shown all of that. Now I wanna show you this. I picked this up for me for two reasons. Well, it, it's been repaired. As you can see here, this horse head has been repaired. Um, so it is not cast iron, but it is some sort of metal. And it, I cannot decide if this is Bellerophon and Pegasus. It might be. Um, I don't see the wings on Pegasus, but it could be that they are 
underneath that blanket there. Whoops, I'm trying to, there we go. I'm trying to <laughs> fix that for you guys. Um, so it has this little stake there in the bottom. I think this may have gone on top of a mailbox. That is my best guess. Um, but I absolutely love this. I'm going to find something to do with it here in my house. I'm going to repurpose it. I think it's phenomenal. It's really, really cool. What do y'all think? What do you think this is? Let me know. Then this I did end up purchasing from my, for myself. Um, this is a celluloid sculpture. And it has... These are called the Seven Warriors, and they're on this amazing dragon boat. First of all, look at the dragon. Look at all of these figures from Chinese mythology. Absolutely phenomenal. This is missing the mast for the ship. It would have gone right there. I did not care. I wanted to have this. I had been looking for one of these for a while, and I absolutely love it. As you guys know, I collect dragons, so I had to get this. I mean... I just absolutely had to, right? I think you agree. Okay, then I picked up this book. Um, this book is probably a keeper for me. It's Miss Every Child Should Know. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This is from 1955. I think I said 65 or 64 this morning. You'll have to excuse me. I'm not used to having sales that early and I'm not a morning person, okay? So reading Roman numerals was a little bit hard for me. Um, I love this. I have to keep it. I'm sorry, guys. I just have to. I do have a collection of vintage and antique mythology books. So yeah, I'd never seen this one before. And look at the cover. It's phenomenal. I am going to try to clean that up right there. Looks like coffee stain or something, maybe. And then I wanted to show this plate again just because I absolutely love it. So beautiful. I love the horses, the people, the ducks, or I guess they're geese, and these beautiful, it's like a pastoral cottage um, theme going here. It's called Happy England, and it's made by, the, by Johnson Brothers. Oh my gosh, I love this. It is in such nice condition. Um, I don't think... It was ever used or anything like that. I think it had been wrapped away for many years. I just love it. I love the hints of color throughout. It's beautiful. And this, I think I ended up showing twice during my sale this morning. So I apologize if you've seen it and you're like, okay, I'm over it. But this is a self-published book by Elliot Blaine Henderson. And he was a an African-American. I'm trying to find his picture poet. Um, this is so cool. So this is a book of his poetry and I have to imagine this is pretty rare. I'm going to research him, find out what I can, um, you know, depending on how historical this is. I may see if there is a museum that would be interested or maybe even um, someone in his family. Yeah. So it looks like, look, I take this opportunity to thank my very good friends, Mr. Walter F. Heer, president of F.J. Heer Printing Company, and Mr. M.C. Scheibel for the generosity and favor they have displayed towards me in publication of two of my works of poems. So freaking cool. Um, anyway, this book is amazing. I love coming across a piece of history like this. Um, I just think it's amazing. And I love it. So, I forgot to say it at the beginning, but if you see something you're interested in, you can always send me an email, calypsoantiques at gmail.com. Um, I didn't show these. These sold during the sale as well. I'll go ahead and show them again. These are Coke tins from 1973. Um, they were originally from 1906. Uh, these two, there's two of her and one of her. Um, she is originally from... 1917. Are they not amazing? So these two are the same print. And here she is. I love these. Um, but again, they sold. I just wanted to show you guys some of the treasures I got. 
I will, of course, be doing follow-ups to this. I still have quite a few things I am excited to show you, including jewelry, um, just all sorts of things. I want to thank everybody for all of your support. It truly means the world to me. And again, just send me an email if you're interested in any of these items that are left. Or you can comment on the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.